After agriculture came to Denmark, there was yet another migration. This time it was Bronze Age, 5,000 years ago, and it was the Yamnaya people deriving from the Pontic steppe. And these were sheep herders, bringing enormous amounts of animals and people to Denmark. Why is it important to know about our past? Why is it important to know when did the Yamnaya people get into Western Europe and into Denmark? And why is it crucial to investigate passage graves and burial mounds for ancient people in Denmark? It's all about the past. Understanding the past is key to understand the present, but also to make proper predictions, forecasts about the future. When we try to understand the genetic impacts of massive migrations, we can go back into the past and see how previous migrations impacted the indigenous populations. This tells us something about susceptibility to diseases and our ability to adapt to environmental changes. Gathering this information have brought me to some of the most isolated and remote and harsh areas of the world. When I was a young man, I traveled through Siberia in a search for the Yukagia people. Later, I traveled to South America. All this, I did an attempt to put as many pieces together of the puzzle that makes up our human history. The use of DNA sequencing gives us a unique opportunity to understand how humans of the past moved around and populated the world. By drilling into a tooth and extract human DNA, we can determine to what extent past humans were suffering from diseases, how their lives were impacted by climatic changes and environmental impacts over time. All useful knowledge that can help us today to predict what climate change will do to us as human beings and to our environments. Additional to that, it tells us something about who are we as humans and where did we come from. The latter shouldn't be underestimated. It's determining how we look at ourselves and how we treat other people. And most importantly, it helps change and develop our understanding of the world. <laughs>